How are you doing? It's Martin from Gardens for Life. So I figured that we'll do a new chicken tractoring video. We used to have chickens for about five years, but now we haven't had any for about a year. And um, this land here, you can see behind me, this uh, grass here, um, it actually used to be uh, all overgrown when we moved here about three years ago. And um, for about a um, year and a half, we had chickens on it. and. Uh, they actually did a great job of removing all of the weeds and the grasses and they actually fertilized it as well so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this little bit of pasture into a garden a vegetable garden we're going to set about nine chickens free on this piece of land here and then we're going to still cover it in uh, one layer of cardboard and mushroom compost after that we have our electric fence up as you can see and at the moment it's running off a dry cell battery, a deep cycle battery, I'll show you here. It's actually all waterproof anyway, so we don't really need to put this into in here, but it's tidy. You can see the battery is connected there, and there's an energizer that will run off both 12 volts and 230 volts, or probably 110 as well, I'd say. And um, you can hear it there. But this electric fence is a wire mesh fence, so it actually multiplies. You see, each of these strands here um, actually is has a wire, or even a couple of wires built into it. So we are we probably have about a couple of kilometers worth of wire uh, overall here in this small little bit. It's 50 meters in length, by the way. This fence is, and uh, it's arted just down here. And if we want to go in, all we have to do is just take it off here and just leave that down and now we can touch the fence and uh, to connect it again whoops <laughs> got a bit of a shock there but mostly just a fright from the spark um, yeah so let's see what this is going to look like after a few weeks I'll give you an update and I'll show you the compost here this is the mushroom compost we're going to use we're going to move it uh, just over here once we have um, the chickens moved on the chickens are going just besides here so we don't even have to move the chicken coop we can actually leave it here and um, just move the fence on its own as you can see here on the corners we have a wooden stake that's pulling the fence back a little bit just to keep it properly upright as you can see here it's very upright indeed and uh, you can even hear it sometimes where it's earthen there is definitely a spark here somewhere but you can also see I've used these um, wooden pegs that I just cut out of an ash tree here uh, instead of instead of having to buy plastic ones you can just do that. The only thing we're missing now is the chickens. So finally the day has come that our chickens have arrived and we're going to move all this plastic here. Um, it's only been here, some of it has been here more than a week and some of it has only been here for a few days, maybe about five days. But it still made an awful impact on the grass underneath. The idea is we want to try and kill off the grass as well as we can before we put down our the lasagna bed um, you can see here it has wilted a little bit but it's definitely uh, it would definitely be an advantage to leave it there for longer if you have time but in this area here we'd like to set up a vegetable garden this spring and if you look underneath here that's been there for about uh, eight or nine days now and it made a big impact on the vegetation as you can see so the chickens are going to finish that off now and we'll turn this grass into eggs and we'll get them to work the ground and scratch up the grass roots and the weeds and also um, fertilize the ground as well.
So here we are now. This is about a week and a half or about nine or ten days into the chicken tractoring and uh, the chickens have made a fairly major impact on the grass already. They have scratched it up and have eaten some of it as well. So you'll see now how um, we're going to be able to um, plant our new garden into it as well very soon. Uh, probably about two or three weeks from now. As you can see here uh, the grass is already uh, gone fairly dry here in this spot. Let me just turn off the electric fence or I'll just take the cable off it. Let me get a bit of food. This is where the energizer is. Let me just get a bit of food here. Chickens are always hungry. Look how they follow you. These are very friendly though. No? They're very hungry now. They got food this morning. You give them food twice a day. They can also free range and forage as well. We give them plenty of food here because we want them to start laying eggs soon. So as you can see here, this is the bit where we had um, plastic covering it for about 10 days. And as you can see, they're already flattening the grass and that kind of creates a mulch layer. And you can see here that they're already scratching it up as well. So it's all going very well. They're very friendly. You can pet them just like a cat or a dog. <laughs> And that's the way to have them. You don't want to end up having to um, catch them if they ever jump over the fence. No eggs yet. I wouldn't expect eggs yet anyway. They're only about 16 weeks old now. Say about another few weeks and they'll start laying and they'll settle down in their new home. So this door has been working really well. Uh, we just close it through this string, which is tied on over there at the moment. But we're going to put a post right here and it'll be even handier. And we have a little ladder for them to go up and down as well. And um, if you use sawdust in the house, you don't actually need use sawdust here you don't need to freshen it up very often they actually kill the smell it it actually um, turns into pretty good stuff that you can use in the garden too uh, we usually freshen it up uh, every week or so um, as you can see the grass has already taken uh, its toll it's actually being flattened by the chickens but also eaten and um, scratched up so as you can see here it's uh, being fertilized also well, let's look how dry that is. Uh, it's brilliant. So we can actually lay just a single layer of cardboard on that, I think, in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be able to actually smother the grass. Now, we'll have to give them a couple more weeks to actually take care of this area here. So, And um, what we'll do then is we'll move the chicken coop um, just over here, where the grass is still tall, as you can see. The plastic was on here for about 10 days and the chickens have also been on here for about 10 days now. And it has made a, quite an impact so we won't need as much cardboard because it's kind of hard to get at the moment with this um, lockdown going on. Uh, we usually get it from furniture places but unfortunately um, we can't get it now. So well, We can get um, some of it from other places. You could open the door from a mile away. But you don't have to. So we've got this little post here um, that we've attached the clothesline to, which goes to the door of the chickens, chicken coop. And um, we have this little bit here, the angry bracket cut out, and a bit of hazel wood with a hole in it. So we're going to uh, cut this off and string it through and we'll see if it works. Alright, that's it. That's all that's it all done. 
So let's see if it works. Open the door. Hinge it in. There you go. Stays open. Nice clean setup. Nobody's going to fall over any wires. We can close the door again at night. There you go. Very good. Happy with that. Quick tip. You can um, store your chicken food in a barrel like this with a lid and uh, so that it's rodent proof but also you can throw it in a place where the chickens haven't actually scratched up the ground too much yet so we'll just walk over here and we'll throw some food just here we'll get another handful As you can see, they'll actually be scratching up that area now for the next hour or so. Um, you just keep throwing the food in a different spot every day for a number of weeks and then you have covered your garden or the bit that you're tractoring and then you can move your electric fence. So it's a really, um, I wouldn't call it lazy, but I'd call it a, a, a low maintenance way of uh, preparing a piece of ground for gardening and um, let the chickens do what they like to do and let them work for you or actually in fact with you because they're having a great time doing it too so we'll give you another um, update video in a couple of weeks time on the chickens we'll see how they're doing and hopefully they'll be laying eggs by then and um, hopefully they'll have scratched up all of this ground behind me here